Friends, so now I will show you how do you calculate the exact tenure. So let's say you have a higher date and uh, you want to get this result that this person was since how many years he's in our company, how many months and how many days. So here, how do you calculate? So there is a very interesting formula. This is a regular query people ask, especially ask. I insert one column over here and let's say I put a, a tenure over here. Now see here also tenure is calculated in fact, 13 years, 12 years, right? But that is a different thing I here. Now I will show you and pay attention on the formula. I will say equal, whenever you type any formula, if you type sum, you see all the sum formula related, right? If you type for example if, all the formula related to if will come. But now the formula which I am typing that is known as hidden formula of Excel. You will not get help of that in Excel. Microsoft has not given help, but it is a hidden formula. That is known as dated if formula. Those who know good, those who don't know, learn it. Oh my God, what I did, okay. Dated, when I see date, you see I get date and date value. I don't see dated if. So I type dated if. Oh, oh, oh. Open a bracket. I will select this date, that is my higher date. I will put comma and I will put today date. Comma and I will put Y. Y means your so higher date, comma, current date. Today is the formula to get a system date and I get 13. Oh, this is a date format. Yeah, I select this format. I go to the home and I convert this into general. So I get 13, right? First is this. Now, I want 13 years, so I will say and, and I will put a word over here, years, so I get 13 years. Now, very simple, if you want, if you have lots of time to spend in office, type entire formula. If you want to complete faster, alas, we are expert in copy paste, so just say control C for copy, accept equal sign, say control V for paste. Instead of year, just type months, instead of Y, you type YM month of year. Oh my god, I did. No, I think after years I should have typed and because I want I have one more formula to combine, right? 13 years, zero month. Hey, I want date also. No problem. I just come over here. I say control C for copy and I say paste. And in the end, I will just type days. And here what I will type? D. So you will type, if you type only D, what will happen? It will give you 475 means total days. So ha, huh, something like that. I think YMD now, I think you will just type MD. So yeah, let's see if this is perfect. So uh, let's put this year date. So we calculate if it is perfect or last year at least. 1 Jan 2017. So one year, this is second. So one month and one or two days. One year, one month. This means perfect work. Getting? This way you calculate the tenure. Okay. So this was the query people had asked. So uh, yeah, I went a little fast into that because we didn't have the time. You can refer it afterwards. Thank you so much, friends.